guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing my very first ASOS haul. Well, not my very first ASOS haul, like, in life. My very first ASOS haul on here. But yeah, I just realised that I've never actually done a big ASOS haul for my YouTube channel, so what better time? To be honest, ASOS for me is a bit hit and miss. Sometimes I go on there and I'll see loads of stuff I like, and other times I'm like, me. And over the last few months, to be honest, through winter, I haven't really gone on there a lot. However, I thought I'd go on and give it a chance for spring, and I found some really, really nice, like, new in spring bits. I've got them all on the rack. I'm going to try them on for you, and I'm just going to show you basically how I'd style them for spring. So, lots of neutral, some pink. I never wear pink. And I've got two pink things in this haul. By the way guys, for size reference, I'm a UK size 8 in tops and bottoms. But you'll see in the haul a lot of the stuff I have sized up in. But yeah, just for reference, I'm size 8 and my height is 5 foot 8. So first up, I've got this gorgeous checked shirt. I haven't got a checked shirt in this colour. I can't help myself when it comes to checked shirts. I've got so many, I don't need any more. But I haven't got one in this colour, so it's okay. So yeah, we went for this checked shirt. It's in this white colour with a kind of like neutral brown uh, check design on it and I got this in a size 14. I just really love a check shirt. I love styling them especially for spring and these colours were just giving me proper spring vibes, do you know what I mean? So yeah, so many different ways you can style a check shirt. Here I'm wearing it open just over a pair of denim shorts and with just a white crop top on. I'll link everything that I'm wearing in the description box below. This is probably one of my favorite ways to wear it. I really love how they look open, especially when they're oversized. They also look really nice just off the shoulder as well. I also really love how these look styled and um, just done up as well. Just a little pair of shorts underneath. I'd say this one is long enough to wear as a sort of dress, but just to be safe, I would pop some shorts underneath. Just a really simple, easy thing to wear, I think. I think everyone needs a good oversized check shirt in their wardrobe. As I said, there's so many different ways you can wear them. I think they're just an essential for this time of year. I had to add this one to the collection, absolutely loved it. And by the way, I had a size 14 in this, so I did size up. And this was £25 as well, which I don't think is that bad. Quality is really nice. Um, and as I said, so many different ways you can style these. I feel like everyone just needs a check shirt in their life. So next up, this was from a brand called Collusion on ASOS. Um, it's not a brand I'd heard of before, but when I went on there and was checking them out, they've got some really, really nice stuff. A lot of their stuff is unisex, so it comes up oversized anyway. Definitely my kind of style this season love anything that's no i won't say that love anything that's oversized i can't say that maybe i can so yeah i went for this it's kind of like a sandy beige color this really oversized denim jacket and uh, this is in a size medium as well i wanted it just to be super super big uh, i really love denim jackets that are really oversized i'm not a fan of the fitted look and i realized that i didn't actually have a denim jacket in this color so the way i styled this is i popped on some black cycling shorts and also a black crop top and basically just let the denim jacket do all the talking i don't really think you need a lot going on underneath when it comes to something like this just a really nice uh, throw on jacket for this time of year for when it's not quite hot enough to just have crop tops and shorts. You know, you need a jacket to shove on. Really nice for that. And I just think this colour as well, it's just really, really spring, summer. I've got a really nice black denim jacket, but I think I'll be reaching for this sort of colour more this time of year. But yeah, let me know what you think. As I said, this is in a size medium. I'd say... It's probably a size 12 to 14 if you're talking about things in actual sizes. But yeah, definitely size up anyway if you do want the super oversized look. But if you do decide to tr stay true to size, for me that would have been a size small. You definitely would have been okay with that as well. And this jacket was £35, which for a really good denim jacket, I think is really good. And um, one thing I will say about the whole sort of collusion range, it's super, super affordable. Nothing on there is overly expensive, nothing on there I feel is overpriced and um, really affordable, really cool brand. If you're really into the sort of oversized look this season, definitely check them out on ASOS. I really like all the stuff they've got on there, lots of nice sweatshirts and stuff. So yeah, really like them. And then next up, I don't have pink in my wardrobe. I'm not a pink person, I don't really do pink. However, I thought this was really, really cute super oversized coca-cola t-shirt if you can see that 
I thought just really really fun for spring. I thought wearing this just with some nice socks and white trainers would look really really nice for springtime, very easy to throw on. Um, even for holidays, I mean I know holidays aren't happening currently but fingers crossed they will in a few months. Um, even just for throwing on over the top of a bikini, you know you need to walk through your hotel to get to the beach or the pool. Really nice top for that. Tucked into a pair of denim shorts I thought would look really really cute. Um, it's very sort of festival, spring, summer kind of vibe, that's what it's given me. And I went for a size 14 in this so I really oversized. I basically just wanted to make sure it was long enough for me to not have to wear shorts with it um, and it definitely is so yeah so the ideal way for me to style this would be with some nice white chunky trainers and some nice little socks I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe as I said pink's not usually a colour I'd go for but I just thought this was really fun really cute and if I don't wear it in the daytime it's a really cute top to sleep in and this was also £20 so next up we have some joggers. These are from the ASOS own range and they're sort of like a quilted uh, design. Can you see that on them? They've got these sort of little quilted sort of pattern. Well, not pattern, it's actually like a quilted design. These are just really different. The sort of quilted trend is really in right now. You'll see a lot of, you know, quilted bags, quilted shoes, but I haven't seen any quilted joggers and I just thought these were a really, little bit different. They're in a really nice taupey colour as well, which is super flattering on everyone's skin tone. Really different to the regular sort of grey, black joggers that you see a lot of. They do actually do these in grey as well. I was so, so tempted tempted but I thought no I've already got two really good pairs of grey joggers I don't need a third pair even though they are, do look a bit different but no I thought these taupe ones were really really nice really sort of nice neutral spring colour I thought paired with a nice white crop top or black crop top they just look really really nice and these are so comfortable as well they weren't that expensive so these were £25 I stayed true to size in these as well um, I think at the time when I bought these, uh, there was very few of them left in stock. I managed to grab a size 8, so I definitely won't be returning these. They're really nice and comfortable. And so just a little bit different to the regular jogger that you see a lot of, but yeah, quilted joggers. And then next up we have this bodysuit. This does look very similar to the sort of Zara bodysuits that everyone owns, um, but it's made out of completely different material. This is made out of a cotton material, so it's not double lined like the Zara ones. The Zara ones are a little bit more sort of silky feeling. Um, so yeah, this is cotton and it's in more of, I don't know if the colour's going to show up very well on here, but it is in more of a sort of acid wash colour. Um, so I really love the colour of it. It just looks a bit more vintagey and worn and lived in. It just looks a lot more casual than the Zara bodysuit. It is um, high legged as well, so you, you couldn't really wear low rise jeans or you know low rise bottoms. I mean, who is wearing low rise bottoms this really? I, just in case you do, in case you're a fan of a low rise jean, go you. But no, really like this, really nice, simple, basic to have in your wardrobe. Really simple to throw on with a pair of joggers. I've styled it up with a pair of grey joggers, going for that sort of monochrome look. And it was only £14, so really happy with that. And I did stay true to size and I got this in a size 8. So next up, back to that brand I was talking about earlier from Collusion, I got a sweater from them. I just could not resist this. It's really oversized and it's in a nice sort of creamy, st almost stone colour. And it's got this really cool blue um, design on it. Really, I really love the contrast of colours on this. I don't know if you can see on camera if it's going to pick it up. But it does have a really nice blue design on it. And it's got that sort of inside out feel to it. So it's got the sort of stitching on the outside, which I think is really cool. It's got it around the collar as well. Um, and I did go for this in a size large, so it is super, super big. Ideally, the way I'd style this is with a nice pair of blue shorts. As I said, it has got blue detailing on the front of the jumper, so matching that with a pair of blue shorts I thought would look really, really cool for spring. As I said, it's not always warm enough to have your arms out, but sometimes just pairing a sweatshirt with a pair of shorts, it just does the job. Also, I think this would look really, really nice just with cycling shorts, really nice, easy, casual outfit. But even though it is a sweatshirt and you're covered up, I feel like the colours of this are really sort of spring and summery. And this was £22, so yeah, I'm very happy with this. And then next up, we've got another pink item. I don't know what's wrong with me, I don't know what happened to me in this haul. I don't know why I bought two pink things. 
maybe my wardrobe was telling me I need some pink things. So yeah, this was from Weekday from ASOS. I don't know what to tell you. This isn't usually my sort of thing. I do like a graphic t-shirt. Usually if it's got a band name on, usually a band whose album I've never bought. Always get loads of stick about it on Instagram. Who really cares? Yes, I've never bought an ACDC album, but who cares? I can still wear the t-shirt. So this is a graphic tee. I thought it was super cute. It's actually a picture of a duck upside down. I just thought it was really, really cute for spring. I just really liked it. I thought it was quite cool. Looked a bit old school and a bit more vintagey. I thought tucked into a pair of shorts for spring, it would look amazing. Um, but also I really like this just paired with some black cycling shorts. Really cool, really casual, really easy out outfit to wear. Any oversized t-shirt can look really good with a pair of cycling shorts this time of year. But I just thought this one was a little bit more statement, a little bit more cool, a little bit edgy. I can't really give you any sentimental reason as to why I opted for a t-shirt with a duck on it, but I really like it. So yeah, and I did uh, get this in a size large as well. As I said, I did want it really oversized to wear with cycling shorts. I also wouldn't mind wearing this on its own with a pair of chunky trainers. However, I do think it's maybe a little bit on the short side for that. I probably would have to shove some denim shorts underneath just in case. But yeah, that is my duck t-shirt and I'm very pleased with it. Last but not least, I didn't really know whether to even show you these. Do I need to show them you? I don't know. I bought some socks from ASOS. So I bought this two pack of Adidas socks, basically. Do I really need to show you them, me wearing them? White socks, classic Adidas stripes around the top, Adidas logo on. One of the pairs is uh, white with the black detailing and the other pair is white with a sort of nude detailing on them. Just thought a really cute pair of socks for spring. So shove them on, they look really nice with a pair of trainers and shorts. Um, and yeah, and let's be real, we can never really own too many socks. We always need socks, so. And that's everything for this haul, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like the sort of styling and outfit ideas. Uh, let me know what videos you want to see from me. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.